In this video, we will learn a strategy with a risk to reward ratio of more than 1 is to 2, which means your max profit is 2 times your max loss. But before getting started, if you love our efforts, do like this video and subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel. Before we begin, let me tell you that this is the 8th episode of the Options Strategy series. In the previous episodes, we have covered the basic strategies and compared those strategies. We have also covered some spreads. If you are watching this for the first time, you can watch the previous videos right here. In today's video, we are going to discuss the bear put spread strategy. Simply defined, a bear put spread is a cheaper put option with less time decay. But what do we mean when we say less time decay? So when you buy a naked put option, the time decay or the rate at which the option price declines due to the passage of time is very high which ends up reducing the premium and thereby contributing to the loss you make. Whereas when you do a bear put spread this time decay is lower so your premium won't lose its value as fast as a naked put buy because here you will receive back some premium by selling put option which reduces the net cost of your strategy. Amazing right? Hit the like button if you didn't know about this. Spreads such as bear put spreads can be taken when your view of the market is moderately bearish. So how do we do it? As usual, there are two ways in which you can take the bear put spread strategy. First, go to Sensible's Strategy Builder page, go to Redmate Strategy section and in the bearish strategies, select the bear put spread strategy. And as you can see, a bear put spread strategy is automatically added for you to analyze it. If you want to change the strikes or the expiry of the contracts, you can do it right here like this. The other way of doing this is to open the Sensible's Strategy Builder page, click on the build new custom strategy button and from this option chain pop up, select the put strike which you want to buy and select our lower put strike with our lower premium to sell. So here when you buy the put option, you pay the premium and when you sell the put option, you receive the premium. So the net premium you paid here is premium paid minus premium received. The put option you bought is usually ATM and the put option you sold is usually OTM. You can choose to do it with the ITMs as well instead of ATM. Now once you have added the strategy in the builder, you can analyze it and see how this strategy is likely to perform in future using this price and time slider. In this strategy, the maximum loss you will have is the net premium which is 115 minus 50 that is 65. When you multiply it with the lot size 50, you get your max loss 3250 rupees as you can see here. The maximum profit you will make in this strategy is the difference between the strikes minus the net premium. In our case, the net premium is 65 and the strike difference is 200 as we have chosen 19,800 and 19,600 as our strikes. So 200 minus 65, 135. When you multiply it with the lot size 50 you get 6750 rupees that is your max profit here and that you can see here and obviously you don't have to do this every time as our tool is strategy builder will keep this data ready for you now let's analyze the payoff chart of the bear put spread strategy here you can see that you have bought a put option at 19,800 strike by paying the premium and you have sold a put option at a lower strike that is 19,600 and you have received the premium for this. So in this strategy you will incur a max loss if nifty expires above the 19,800 level that is in this red zone. Similarly you will make the max profit if nifty expires below 19,600 level that is in this green zone. Here you can see the break even of this strategy. So if nifty expires below the break even you will make some profit and if nifty expires above the break even you will make some losses. How much money do we need to take this strategy? Well as you can see here you will need around 25,000 rupees in margin to take this trade. Remember to get the margin benefit you should execute the buy leg first and then the sell leg or else the capital requirement will increase. Now let's see the pros and cons of this strategy. First pros. Number one, in this strategy you pay for your limited move only. Number two, it is safer than naked put buy as your max loss is lesser in this strategy. Number three, the theta or time value decay is low as compared to naked put buy. Number four, lower IV risk. 
Now talking about the cons, there is only one con in this strategy that it requires more margin than a naked put buy. But I think it is worth it because my loss in this strategy is lesser than naked put buy and I clearly know my max profit and max loss before entering the trade. And what is the point in taking a trade where my theta DK is more, my max loss is more, so more tension, right? A simple and peaceful way of trading is the right way to go. So guys, this was our video on the bear put spread strategy. Strategy. If you loved this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel and comment down your learning from this particular video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.